Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be doing a Khan Academy tutorial on surface area. So for all those geometry students nearing the end of their year, you're moving on to surface area and volume and this is a Khan Academy exercise specific on surface area, probably a pyramid, some of the more introductory shapes. So let's go ahead and get started. It says Ben made a model shown below of the square pyramid he plans to build when he grows up. <laughs> So there's a lot of things wrong with that statement already. So uh, why is Ben making a model and why does he want to build a pyramid when he grows up? So anyway, uh, his model is kind of suspect. Uh, he, he says it's a square pyramid, but it's not really drawn well. So I'm going to go ahead and redraw this for you so you have a little bit more perspective. So when we're talking about a square pyramid. We're talking about a pyramid uh, with a particular kind of base. So this base needs to be a square. So if this is 10, then this is 10. And I'll make some dotted lines in the back so you can see some perspective. Okay, and then this goes down, and then this one goes up to the top. So as you can see in the back, you have another distance of 10 and 10 on the side, on these sides. Now we're also told that this height this slant height is seven. So if we follow this slant height down and made it 90 degrees to the base, this is seven meters. So Ben has some big aspirations for making a 10 by 10 by seven meter tall pyramid. That's pretty large. Okay, so now we need to do surface area. For surface area of a pyramid, essentially what we need to do is we need to have the base which is only one base in a pyramid. It's not like a prism when there's two bases. And we need to add the number uh, for all the lateral sides. So the lateral sides are four triangles. Now, with a pyramid uh, that has a square base, you know the triangles are all the same dimension. So if we were going to take one of these triangles and lay it out flat, okay, so I'm laying it out flat here, we would have a height of 7. This is perpendicular as shown. And then the base is 10. And we just need to find the area of that, the area of those, and then we're going to plug it in for our answer. Okay, so let's find the area of the base first. If it's a square, so the area of the base is a square, so it's side squared. We have the side is 10, so we're 10 squared. The area of the base is 100. So we have our first piece of information. We know the base is 100. Now we're going to add that four times, and now we need to find one of those triangles. So we know this is 10. We know the area of a triangle is one half the base. Now this is little b, this isn't big b. Big b is the area of one of the bases of a 3D shape. Little b is the base of a 2D shape. And then times the height. We're gonna plug in our information. We have area equals one half the base, which is 10 times seven, our height is seven. So we have five times seven is 35. So we're gonna plug in 35 there. And that will give us our total surface area. So then we have 100 plus, uh, this is going to be 140 because 35 times 2 is 70 times 2 again is going to be 140. And that should give us 240 meters squared. So I hope Big Ben gets a lot of materials to make such a large uh, pyramid with a 240 meter squared surface area. So we're going to type in 240 and check our answer. Okay, well, I'm going to restart this video. Oh, I <laughs> I accidentally put too many fours. There we go. Sorry. Oof, got a little worried there for a second. We all make mistakes, though. All right, find the area of the cube shown below. So it says two-thirds units. So trying to get fractions just to confuse you. So if this is a cube, then all these are two-thirds unit. Two-thirds unit. Okay. Now, with a cube... Essentially, this is just one of our prisms, and the, the, the surface area for a prism, especially a rectangular prism, you're going to do the perimeter times the height plus the two bases. So that's generally for more com like oddly shaped or non-cubic uh, 3D shapes. But with a cube, it's, it's much easier. So what we just need to do, we know the surface area of a cube is just going to be six times the area of one of the bases. So that's going to be much easier than applying this formula right here. 
So we know the area of the base. Well, area of one of the bases is going to be 2 thirds squared, just like because we already said that it's going to be side squared. Or you can do 2 thirds times 2 thirds. And you should get 4 over 9. Square the 2, square the 3, 4 over 9. And then we're going to multiply this by 6 up here. So 6 times 4 over 9. We get 24 over 9. I bet we can just plug it in right like that. Can't be reduced. So let's go ahead and plug it. Oh, actually, it can't be reduced. We can divide the top by 3, bottom by 3, and we get 8 over 3. So 8 thirds is going to be our answer. We should be able to type that as an answer and not put it in decimal form, 8 over 3 units. And let's check that. Good to go. It says we got the first one wrong, but really we got it right. Just, I know that's probably bothering some people. It's bothering me that the first one, one is great. All right, we got a second chance here. Marie made a model of the square pyramid she plans to build. Wow, Marie's got big aspirations too. Find the surface area of the model. Same thing here. We're going to make a square pyramid. Okay, looks something like this. Da, 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 da. Okay, just to give you an idea of what we're looking at. So this is 12, this is 12. So the first thing, the surface area is going to be the area of the base plus four times the triangle. The reason why it's four times, normally we'd want to calculate the size of the triangle, especially if it's a rectangular, because the triangles are going to be different. But since each triangle is identical, it makes it a little easier for us. And then we have 12, and then we know the height is eight. So four times the, the triangle. Okay, so the base is going to be 144, 12 times 12, 144 times 4 times, what's the area of the triangle? We do 12 times area of the triangle is going to be 1 half, 12 times 8, and that is going to be 48 because 12 times 4 is 48. So 4 times 48, okay, I'm going to get some help here. So 4 times 48 equals 192 plus 144, and that equals 336. Okay, let's make sure we type this in correctly. We get 336, check our answer. There we go. Find the area of the right rectangular prism. Okay, now this is not This is like what I said earlier, you can't just take one of the sides and then multiply it by six because this is not a cube and all the sides are not the same dimension. So you can see here that this front face is much different than this uh, top face. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to declare which one's the base. It doesn't really matter which one you decide. Um, in this case, I'm just going to pick, uh, let's just choose, let's choose um, this one to be our base. So I'm choosing this to be my base. And as you can see, there's my base. Okay, this is my base. Oops, I need a B, not an A. Okay, so this is my base. Now, why am I choosing a base? Well, we know the surface area of a prism is equal to the lateral area plus the two bases. So I need to add on two of those bases. And since it's four by two, that should be easy enough to figure out the area there. Now, the lateral area is equal to the perimeter and I didn't specify this earlier, this is the perimeter of the base times the height of the prism. Okay, so what is the perimeter of the base? Let's start there. So the perimeter of the base, if this is four and this is two, the perimeter is going to be equal to two plus four plus four plus two. So two plus two plus four plus four is gonna be the perimeter. Now, what is the height? This is what trips up a lot of people. So if that's my base, my height essentially connects my two bases perpendicularly, okay? So my two bases always need to be across from each other. So there you have your two bases. And then the line that connects them is gonna be your height of the prism. So imagine if I would've put this green side down so it's touching the floor. The surface that's on top would be the other base. The one touching the floor, the one on the top. The bases always need to be opposite from each other. And then the height is that distance between those two bases. So here the height is 2.5 as it is designated here. Let's go ahead and plug in our values. Let's finish this off. We have four, four plus four is eight plus four is 12. So we have 12 times 2.5. That should give me 24 plus six, that should give me 28. Because half of 12 is six. 12 times two is 24 plus 
6, oh, 30, sorry. That should give me 30. 12 times 2 is 24. Half of 12, 6, 24, yes, okay, 30. So I have my lateral area. My lateral area is 30. Uh, the area of one of my bases equals 2 times 4, or 8. So I need to multiply that by 2, 2 times 8. So then I get 46 for my surface area. 46, check my answer, good to go. Hope you found this helpful. Hopefully you guys type in everything correctly and don't actually add another four like I did. But until next time, be good, be kind, be true, be nice, and be honest.